Uh, I just thought it was a heck of a win. Uh, our guys, uh, the way they guarded in the first half, we knew where they were ready. Uh, coming off a tough game off the last one, uh, we all know how much respect I have uh, for Jake and his staff and his program, and our players have tremendous respect for them, so they uh, know how hard you're going to have to play against them. And um, I thought we really set the tone with our defense uh, in the first 20 across the board. Um, guarding the three-point shooters, we made it hard on them. You know, they're not going to go two for four, 14 and a half very much, but I think we had a lot to do with it. Uh, second half, um, you know, never didn't get in the flow like we needed to, but we were fine until about the last seven, six minutes. Uh, you know, I think A.J. went out for a bit. I think we might have let down a little bit, uh, got a little stagnant on offense. Uh, taking some questionable calls and then not getting back and guarding them. And then, you know, they're, they're good and they're never going to quit playing. So um, hung on there at the end, see Will uh, doing what a senior should do and making four free throws down the stretch. And our freshman there, Laravia, with a big basket. But uh, couldn't be happier for our guys and our fans with, with the win. Questions, please. Greg, uh, Christian's contributions on both ends of the floor, especially in the last minute, were significant. But probably he wasn't the only one. But guarding AJ Green, who you know ended up with 21, but he was shut down for had to work for him. Yeah, he definitely had to work for him. Just talk about the importance. Of well, he's I mean AJ Green is as, as good as guard as I've seen in this league, and it's too bad we got to see him for a couple more years here. But just awfully good and awfully tough, and and Christian is um, one of the better defenders in the league. There's no question, and and. Um, challenged him. Uh, he takes the challenge. He wants to guard the best player. He wanted to guard AJ um, and just make it hard on him. You know, the, the kid's still going to score. Um, we did a good job of not fouling. And um, I thought in the second half, like we talked about at halftime, I mean, we got to we got to do even more. You know, we're up 18, I think. And I said, it's going to take even more to win this. And I said, if you get tired chasing him and guarding him, then we can rotate guys. He goes, no, I got him. And I thought he really gutted it out and was tough in some key times. Uh, AJ coming down the stretch is he's going to probably look to score more than he is to pass and made it tough on him. And we tried to foul. <laughs> we wanted to foul on the last. And we told two of the officials with seven seconds left right outside our huddle, we're gonna, he gets to half court. And you see Christian, uh, Christian go up there and get him. So thank God that shot didn't go in. I'd have, I'd have been pretty upset about it. But uh, I, th I thought Christian did his job and tried to foul. But that's something you have to work on, and we haven't worked on that much. It was a collective effort on Green, though. I mean, there were times when he's, I mean, shoot, I saw Bronson out there on him once. I mean, he was, uh, you know, apart from Christian, the collective effort on him, and then the, the collective defensive effort away from the ball really seemed to be as good as it's been for him. Yeah, I thought everybody did good. I commend Tyreek, you know, and Tyreek was, was still guarding his tail off. JB has always done a good job on AJ. You know, he's, he's getting those uh, rhythm dribbles to wants to pull up on you, and he is a good driver and good scorer there. So we wanted to make not give him that three and make him have to go into our help. Um, other than a couple times in the first half when they, they hit the roll guy off the ball screen, I thought we protected the rim pretty good. You know, you just they, – they got they, – they're – all their veterans, you know, those guys come Pickford coming in the second half and giving them a huge spark. And uh, the backup point guard just was getting ahead of steam on it. So they were just kept coming at us, coming at us. And I don't know if it was uh, some exhaustion our part or just not playing uh, as hard as we needed to. And they got we let them get right back in it. So it was a, a tight finish. But uh, <clears throat> really commend our guys for how hard they competed for the majority of that game. You made it clear on Sunday you were going to challenge the guys. Not only the response tonight, but the last couple of days, have you seen the response you've wanted from your team? I think everybody saw that tonight. I, th I think so. I think that first half was pretty good, you know, against the team that's leading the league. Um, the, the guys are, the, again, we, I watched that tape, and I was really ticked off after the Missouri State game, but they're good, and they're rolling right now. And, you know, they're, they're athletic, and they're good, and they're physical, and they can score. Um, we just didn't play well, and they did, and they beat us. And I was upset because I thought maybe in the last minute and a half after I watched the tape, we kind of stopped a little bit with some of the guys that came in off the bench. These guys have responded a lot all the time. They're, they're not trying to come out and play poorly, and they're not trying to get beat, and we've only lost one home game. Um, we need to go out and get better on the road, and we're going to have our hands full on Sunday. So 
um, yeah, I'm, I'm always happy with their response and, you know, a lot's on the head coach too. You know, you know, you go into a day like tomorrow and how much do you do? You know, we got Tyreek with a shoulder. We got Trey with an eye. We got BK that uh, doesn't have his legs, you know, and, and JB and, and, and guys needing rest. So it's a, it's a fine line. Uh, but I trust these guys and I believe in them and we're just you know the, our job is the rest of this month every day to continue to get better So you go to st. Louis with a chance Speaking of getting better on the road. What can a win? I mean over arguably the, the best team in the league do for you guys Who's you know, oh you mean this but yeah, this going forward? Well, I mean this is with the next game You know all we all we can do is think about the next game. We we can there's no way you look any more uh, further down the road than that. We we were we prepared like crazy uh, for this game, just like we do every game. You know, our guys give everybody a lot of respect, but we've won one road game against a very good basketball team. <clears throat> we've been close. We've had our chances, but you're going to have to play uh, a complete 40 to have a chance to win. And, and, and we'll get ready. We'll go down there. We're going to play our tail off and, and see if we can't do just that. You made shots early, but what got the offense generally unlocked against you in the first half? Well, I, you know, and this is saying this with, with some poor shooting games and with some games that we've scored in the 50s, I, I still think we're a pretty good offensive team if we move the basketball and, and we get our guys moving. We can't, we, we get guilty of standing and watching Tyreek go one-on-one, -on -one, standing and watching JB, standing and watching our posts. We had 11 assists and, um, with, for 15 field goals in the first half. That's, that's big time. I mean, that's really good. But we got to stick with it. Thought we got a little dribble happy. Uh, in the second half and a little stagnant with what we're doing. And we'll watch the film, we'll learn from that, but still a work in progress and uh, uh, glad to be able to, to get a win to show for it. In the second half, it looked like you and I's trap, although it didn't force many turnovers, it had the effect of shortening your shot clock and forcing your guys into, you know, you know they had 15 seconds instead of 30. Yeah, which is which is fine, but you know, and, and we were prepared for it. They trapped everybody. Uh, they trapped uh, Jake, and they trapped Tyreek, and they tra trapped Christian in the post. And and we were prepared for that. Um, you shouldn't. You need to take advantage of that. I thought we were a little bit guilty of of uh, when we got it, uh, holding it and trying to shoot threes instead of we had them in the bonus, drive it down in there because uh, we got great stuff when we drove. But again, we're standing around a little bit too much watching those guys. So. Uh, we, yeah, certainly have to be better with, with that. Can you explain um, how you finished you guys starting? Can you explain like, the significance of starting fast? Just the general it's a heck of a lot better than starting slow. You know, and uh, my buddy Brent, Brent Compton there, pace setter, it's get ahead, stay ahead. So that, that's what you want to try and do. And um, e either way, whatever you're doing against these guys, I mean, they, they go up to Loyal and get down, what was it, 24 to 9 or, or, or something early. They're not stopping. I mean, they're they're too good at both ends of the floor. And I think Jake said they just turned it over a little bit. But you know, you want to. It's a race to the finish. You know, get off to getting off to an important start. I think is is good from the last because of the last game, our Missouri State game, and who you're playing, the amount of respect you have for them. So it is important. But uh, it's a 40 minute war. You guys have a lot more work to do, but tonight's win assures that you will not have a losing season. What does that mean? Nothing right now. You know, it's we got to get ready for Evansville. Uh, I know there's been a lot of talk about it, that, especially with my situation. And um, you know, I think we've scheduled difficult and in, in non-conference. You know, and we, we've had a lot of that. Um, but that's what we that's what we've always done. Uh, we haven't been as good as we need to be, so we've been under 500. It's not like we've been single-digit wins and just awful. You know, uh, uh, we have been competitive. We have been a competitive team, just not all the time, and we just haven't been a good enough. And that's my fault. You know, we have to be better. And um, I think when you look at after the year, we're just thinking about Sunday, and then we got two more conference games left, and then trying to be our best when we go to St. Louis, so we got a chance to win it. Any other questions? Yeah, I apologize. Sorry. That's okay. Asked, but yeah, I wish they'd have quit playing like we did a little bit. What do you think it took to hold them off? Uh, just getting your poise back a little bit, you know. I mean, we weren't. I mean, even against the the, there's a lot of things we weren't doing like we need to do, and with with uh, two seniors and a junior out there, you know, handling the ball, we need to be much better than what we were. Uh, certainly, they're not going to start stop playing, and they were running mm -hmm. running it at us and and hitting threes and and doing what they needed to do to keep playing. I just thought we got a little lax down the stretch and that's that's not against that I mean give them credit for what they're doing I just thought we took the the 
foot off the pedal a little bit. And, you know, you get a senior going up making four straight free throws and a freshman getting a big basket around there and <clears throat> did enough to hold them off. With somebody with Christian's length, uh, how, how much does it help to have somebody like that to, to guard AJ? Well, I think it's one of the most un, underrated thing a, a, a basketball player can have and probably an athlete across the board is the length. You know, the length in your arms, you know, allows you to give yourself a little cushion. Um, AJ's used to all that. He, he's fine against length. He's fine against athletes. He's fine against smaller guys that try to be physical. And I know it wasn't anything. Christian just tried to make it as difficult on him as he could. We didn't want to get him the give him the rhythm, rhythm threes going in, get or the rhythm dribble into his threes. So you take that away. I mean, the guy still had 21 points. So I mean, it's you can't guard him with one guy. But Christian Williams is as good as anybody at guarding him. Do you think Greg maybe the biggest in hindsight one of the biggest plays of the game was I forget where it was in the sequence, but. Uh, the team collectively did a really good job of running him off the three point line. He yeah, is that line, when you're talking about stretch? Yeah, and he got it. And Bronson did get on him a little bit. And the biggest thing was um, staying out on him. Trust your help behind you because he is a good driver. He's got a great pull up, uh, great pull up game. But don't give him that rhythm dribble into the three. And if he's going to put his head down in there, make him take a tough contested two. So yeah, there were Todd. There were a lot of guys that had whether one possession, two possessions, or a lot of possessions. There are a lot of guys that really did a good job with him.